Thank you so much for your order. This is the how to use your puppet video and what's in the box. In the box you get the puppet, you get a plate. In the plate it's got a protective coating on it, so just pull it off when you get it. You'll also get a magnet, please don't lose the magnet. Um, it will be a flat plate when you get it, so when you get it just bend it on two places about like that. So that it fits nicely over your shoulder. This is probably a bit too bent. Oh no, that way. So it fits nicely under your shoulder. So if you're wearing a thin piece of clothing, you don't need a magnet. Like I've currently got, got a thin piece of clothing and you don't need a magnet. But if you're wearing thicker pieces of clothing than I am now, you put the magnet underneath the piece of clothing, make sure the polarity is the same and that it connects to the puppet and then the puppet goes on top of the magnet. But you don't need it if you're having a thin piece of clothing. Um, this is a look at your puppet before I send him in the box. So when you're done, like everyone, everyone loves to do exercise before they leave for the day. So does the puppet. It likes to do a bit of exercise. So hold the base and just move the head, give it a good good back and forth. The um, more you do this, the easier it is for it to move. I can even feel it loosening up over time. You'll feel it loosen after a couple of turns, and that's usually enough. Um, again, if it's been stored for a while and you haven't used them, uh, the box in the, and it's been stored in a box, uncurl, make sure this is straight. The straighter this cord is, the straighter the, the better the puppet will move turns side to side. So if it's gotten a bit of a curl because it's been in a box for a while, just bend it like that. Just go all the way down the cord and just unbend it in the opposite way of the coil. So once you've done that, grab the cord, look at the cord, grab the cord, push down to make it look up. Get my hair out of the way. Push down to make it look up and then to turn, you turn, you hold, you turn, you hold. And if you do that a few times and then one extra lift, you'll get extra movement out of him. So usually I do a combination of turn hold turn hold turn and then one lift give them a bit of extra movement so you can see that little bit extra turn and then the other way you'll always get one one direction will be easier than the other so obviously looking that way is easier for this guy than looking that way some of them have different directions depending on their fur but a combination of this watching this video a few times and then you could also do another one i like to do is Lean forward as you're moving it back. It kind of gives it a bit more motion. And slowly, subtly move your um, shoulder. And you keep this in your crutch, like near your crutch, and no one will ever look at it. So that's a combination um, of doing that and a bit of shoulder movement to get that wing moving. And it makes it look realistic. And you can go like this. I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much for your purchase. You'll be in the mail very soon.